Welcome traders. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use Fibonacci Confluence for uh, trading patterns. Okay, so we are going to do a little bit of backtesting to see what kind of pattern we have. Uh, we can see that on gold market has created this structure and we do not know exactly what's going to happen. Um, so we'll keep on um, trying the Fibonacci and we'll keep on assessing the market based on the structure that market forms for us. So let's see what's happening. Uh, we have impulse, we have correction, and now the market has gone upwards. That means we are looking at another impulse. Um, let's wait. Okay, so now it's quite possible that market has created an impulse like this, followed by a correction, and then we have an impulse once again. Now, let's see if we get further downward movement. If it actually goes beyond this particular level, which is around here at this level, if it if the candle uh, if the market goes beyond this, then we are looking for pattern to complete around seventy eight point six, which is somewhere around here. So, if the market actually breaks through this and it breaks through this midpoint, then we are expecting it to come down to this. And so we can actually make a prediction well in advance saying that market could be coming towards this zone um, if these two conditions are met so let's see let's see what happens um, in fact actually before that we should also be looking at another thing which is this trend line because the market could actually um, test this trend line as well to see whether it actually breaks it or not so let's look at this trend line change the color of it and then see what will happen okay let me quickly check whether it is actually touching that yes okay so this is the trend line and we have now conditions like this so it needs to break through this level it needs to break through this trend line and it needs to break through this mid level and then we can expect it to come down to 78.6 uh, right there so let's see how it plays out It's going back up to possibly retest that high. Nope, it has come back down now. So kind of like, you know, in consolidation at the moment because we are getting alternate green and red candles. So it is not able to decide where it wants to go. And that is why this condition of this level break is actually more very important. Now it has come to test it. Test it went up because this resistance became a support now. Now, it will have to come back to break it if, if it wants to go down to this level. Okay, so far nothing came very close to it. It's coming very close to it again and again. Now it has broken this. So this is our first condition met and we have the trend line broken as well. Now what we expect here is that if this level is important, then we expect market to go back up to retest this particular level because um, if this was actually acting as support here then it must act as a resistance if the market goes back up so let's see how it plays out okay it's still going down it's a little confused what it wants to do it has started to move a little bit higher Let's see if we can get a retest of this level and possibly the trend line as well. Okay, retest of that level is complete. So that's what we were expecting. Okay, now, okay, so there was a bigger push right there and that was a proper retest of this particular level. It came very close to this trend line, but it was never able to reach the trend line to retest it because this level was very important. It has now finally broken that level. Now you can also interpret this thing as um, head and shoulders kind of pattern because you have left shoulder, you have head and you have right shoulder. Okay, let's see if it actually breaks through this mid level or not. If it does, then we are definitely looking at this particular level to be reached. And this is happening because market has created this stepper kind of pattern. And uh, that's one of um, a very good probability Fibonacci confidence patterns. 
So let's see if it actually goes through. Okay, testing it again. Okay, it has broken it. Let's see if it tests it. There was no retest. Let's see if it actually goes down all the way to this place. Okay, before we actually look at that, we already see that there is a new structure here. So we can now add to our confluence by drawing Fibonacci extension on it. So we can see that, you know, there is a little, there is a Fibonacci extension right there. So we can increase our zone to be around that. Um, because market is always looking for an area where it has Fibonacci confluence, where we have strong Fibonacci levels coming together in close proximity. So let's see how it plays out. Okay, it is coming straight down. It has touched that zone. Let's see if it touches again. Okay. There was a minor. It came very close, but no, I think it has started to move. Now, if the market has started to move already, we're looking at possible first target as 38.2, which is at this level. And uh, let's change the color to green. Let's change it to light dark green so that it is visible. And now let's change the color to, uh, for, let's put another one at 16 pointed. So this is going to be our first target, um, but second target may or may not be reached because we have this barrier uh, which can act as resistance. We also have another barrier around here, so it may or may not be reached, but we are looking at 38.2 profit level to be reached at least. Okay, so market is going upwards and is going to test this level. Let's see if it goes through or not. Okay, so 38.2 profit level has, it came very close and in this candle it has reached that level. Now it is showing us a little rejection. Let's see if it actually breaks through and goes towards 61.8. Now it has come back, broken through. Let's see if it goes to all the way to second profit target, which is at 61.8. Fifty percent crossed, so that level has been tested. Let's see if it actually um, maintains that level. No, nope, it has come back down. So if you are managing your position nicely here, then you would still have been in your position, partial position around here. Stop loss just around somewhere around here. So partial positions, partial profits you have already taken off at 38.2 and you're still in the second partial position and you're still waiting for, yep. So the second target has already been hit now and that's how we play Fibonacci based confluence patterns.